Hello, I will present next how to select cases through a input box. From Tools menu, select Macros. We will pick Select Case Tree Level 1 KTA Macro, and run it. In the Select Case Input Box window, we have to choose the desired case and insert corresponding number. Then push the OK button. For zero the macro will expand the specification tree, at first level, as shown in the part, right window. Running again the macro and insert to the macro will expand the specification tree all levels as shown in the part, right window. And again run the macro and insert 3 the macro will collapse the specification tree, as shown in the part, right window. Running again the macro and pushing OK button, without typing anything will show error message. Click OK on error message will restart the input box. And again doing the same mistake the result it will be the same. Returning to input box and this time for example, insert 4, the result will be the same as before, error, till one of presented cases number is inserted. Running again the macro and push cancel button, will abort the macro as shown. Next I will do the same thing with the product, see left window. After this I will show you the code, and explain how it works. As you can see, there are two macros named, Select Case Tree Level 1 KT of EBS, and Select Case Tree Level 2 KT of EBS. Editing the first one, the code is as shown. First we have the input box, then the cases, and case else with the error window. Normally after case else, and error message, the macro will close. To avoid this thing, and continue again, with input box. My solution is to call the, select case tree level 2 KT of EBS macro. Opening the edit window, for this file, the code is the same, with previous, with only one difference. Calling the, select case tree level 1 KT of EBS. This thing creates a continuous loop, between these two files, in case of inserting wrong number, or no input, after closing the error message. Running the other file, will have the same effect and functionality, as the first one. You can use this code, adapt the cases, as you need. You can renounce to looping, after error message, with ending macro. In this case you will not need the second file. I hope this presentation will help you.